So gestational diabetes mellitus or mellitus is often referred to as GDM, and this is high blood sugar that develops during pregnancy. So without getting too much into the physiology of the process, which we absolutely go into a lot more detail about in the signature article, it is important to know that everyone experiences metabolic changes during pregnancy and they experience some level of insulin resistance. This is pretty common and pretty normal across all pregnancies. And historically, this insulin resistance has helped prioritize the movement of sugar and nutrients to the fetus instead of the pregnant person, which helps, of course, promote healthy fetal growth and development. And it actually served us pretty well historically when we typically had less access to food or when you think about periods of famine. But in pregnancies without GDM, the body's insulin response is still able to kind of overcome that resistance by producing more insulin. But in pregnancies with GDM, there can just be too much insulin resistance or too little of an insulin response or even a combination of both. And this is what causes glucose or sugar to build up in that blood until it reaches abnormally high levels. And this is called hyperglycemia. And so as we'll talk more about later, screening for GDM and diabetes in general involves measuring blood sugar levels. Gestational diabetes also is not the same thing as type one or type two diabetes. And diagnostic thresholds for gestational diabetes are actually lower for GDM than type two. Although management and treatment of GDM is pretty similar to type two diabetes, 